गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अनदर एक्सपेरिमेंट एज सच दैट दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इज बीइंग परफॉर्म ऑन वाटर टू वाटर सैंपल्स सो आवर एम इज टू डिटरमाइन द पीएच ऑफ टू डिफरेंट वाटर सैंपल्स हेयर नाउ लेट अस नो व्हाट आर द मटेरियल्स रिक्वायरमेंट इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट दीज आर द टू वाटर सैंपल्स ड्रॉपर यूनिवर्सल पी इंडिकेटर सोल्यूशन पी पेपर एंड टेस्ट ट्यूब्स नाउ लेट अस टॉक अबाउट द थ्योरी pH is an important factor which affects the flora and fauna population it is an indicator of acidity or basicity of water bodies obviously this is very important as such okay now let us talk about observation what observation we have to make pH values as determined by this is the upper part first is universal indicator solution and the second one is pH paper इन दोनों से हमें मेजर करना है ये वाटर सैंपल्स हैं ए और बी जो हम आपको अभी बताएंगे इतना काम करना और फिर रिजल्ट जो है बेस्ड ऑन द पीएच ऑफ द वाटर सैंपल रिजल्ट इज एनालाइज्ड वेदर द वाटर इज एसिडिक बेसिक और न्यूट्रल इन नेचर ओके लेट अस नाउ टॉक अबाउट द अपरेटस हेयर यू कैन सी द टेस्ट ट्यूब विच आर बींग केप्ट हेयर नाउ these are the droppers two water samples one and two this is a ph universal indicator solution then we have the ph paper also okay now let us start with the experiment see we have two test tube we will first of all take two test tube place in another rack as such and then we need to add water so this is sample a water which have been collected from pond just see at the appearance of water as such it is yellowish in color so it is a stagnant water pond water color is yellowish and then we are going to test another water samples brought from industrial area you see another water sample you can see the some air bubbles here as such so this this water sample has been brought from the industrial area from the waste water of the industry so i am keeping this at the another side of the rack hopefully you can see them both of them together now i am going to add universal indicator solution to both of these and we'll be we will be observing the color just two three drops are required first to sample a then to sample b in the first case just see inside the water also test tube bluish green color side at the side you can see bluish green appearance no it's not completely you cannot say bluish green it is dark green as such so dark green color okay now in a second case you observe that the color is much darker that is quite blue dark blue as such so if you look at the universal indicator solution first one you see the first that is bluish green and dark green green is 7 and bluish green is 8 so anywhere between 7 and 8 first one so you can keep 
7.5 for the first one and for the second one it is very dark in color as such so dark blue so it is something around 10 ph for the second so i am giving the writing on the blackboard I'll be using the pH paper in order to confirm the result as you can see the pH paper and the various values are given over here so just let us talk about the pH paper as such so let us first of all check the sample A with the help of a pH paper Keep it here for some time. Okay, now we are going to test with the help of pH paper. As you can see, this is a pH paper. I am going to dip this. Keeping the pH paper on the above side. Then using another pH paper. For sample. Second. you can see the difference between the two one is in between 7 and 8 the first one the color you can see first one between 7 and 8 pH and the other one it is somehow 10 the result is exactly matching here see in the first case it is between 7 and 8 and in the second case it is somehow 10 pH so you can write over here 7.5 and 10 so water present in the sample A is having 7.5 pH as such it is slightly basic and the second case the water pH is about 10 so it is highly basic so in the sample of A the water is very near to the neutral so living organism can survive in that particular water now it, the hostile condition is present in sample B as such because the acid is uh, sorry the pH of the water is 10 so with that our experiment is complete. Thank you and have a nice day.